Okie dokie, something different today. Um, th there was a mill. Do you like our mountain there, eh? Ingleborough? <laughs> there was a mill down there behind that house. Uh, and the only fields that it could have put bale seals in is th are these here. So I've, I've just got permission to do all these fields here. Um, right down as far as you can see and equally is the same amount behind me so I don't know if there's anything here it's going to be a let's let's have a look and find out hey you got a button so I just walked off this field without a signal <laughs> still I'm going over there that's where I'm hoping pulley wheel now that must have come out of the mill at some time oh that's not good that's that's a fitting off uh, MSI, um, IKEA, for putting furniture together. That's modern. <laughs> I'm under this electric pylon, so I'm expecting uh, chunks of copper and stuff, but I think that's a, a George Third half penny. It's very hard to uh, get anything off it. Give it the Brillo when we get home. Oh, hang on a minute. I can see 111, that, that, I think it's George Third. Another button. We're looking Georgian or Victorian for these. Nothing out of the ordinary. Can you see those midges? <laughs> There's thousands of them. And they all like me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Another button. <laughs> oh dear, those midges are following me, look. There's nothing wrong with your video, it's the midges. <laughs> <laughs> we got a training, uh, area training round here. Spitfires, <laughs> Brazilian Spitfires, we call them. Practicing. 1863, young head Victoria bronze penny. It's fraying all around the edges. Look, that's not going to get home, isn't that? Nosy cow, little bullocks. <laughs> uh, just stop chewing that detector, you. All right, and stop licking me camera. <laughs> The ones behind you, you've got to watch. <laughs> nah, they're all right, these are too young to be any problem. Another very worn Georgian, 1800s. Another very old uh, Georgian coin. I might take my rucksack off and have a look round. And then again, I might not. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Now, that'd be an 1806 George III. Penny, copper penny. You see the, the three ones up there. Yeah, there seems to be a fair bit of old money just, just along this bank. The mill was down there in just down this huge slope. They may have come up on here and sat. Another Georgian. Half penny. Uh, could well be a 1775-ish. Well, I've had a quick look all the way around, round past that house in the distance, all the way around, around the back of that hill, round here, through here. Plenty of junk, a few Georgian coins, and at last I've found a, an 1860 uh, young head Victoria. First bronze coin that, that was minted. Our first bronze penny, and not... <laughs> It's a nice nick. Hey, a ship half penny. 1945, George VI. I shall just have a little look round here and then uh, I'm going to give it up and I'm going to get some seals. Not really sure what you are. You're bronze. And something goes down there. I keep getting the feeling of rifle, rifle, but <laughs> maybe not. Uh, well, I missed that field there. Can always do it again. 
So I'm just nearly back to the farm. Just slugging me up this hill and look, it's a buttonhole badge for Primo. <laughs> oh, doesn't it just get you there? You never know what you're going to find. Oh, a penny. <laughs> I, was, I was just having a look at the view and uh, over there Just having a think. Hope you can see it in the mist. Over there is Ingleborough Mountain. It's about, what, seven, eight miles away. Because actually I'm in Lancashire at the moment, not Yorkshire. <laughs> I've come over the border. Should have stayed in Yorkshire. <laughs> Oops. A lone sheep. <laughs> but it isn't a sheep, it's a ram, all on its own. You gotta be careful of these things, you know. They uh they kill more farmers than bulls do. The rams. I shall give it a wide berth. Hey pee with a spoon. I'm nearly back now, maybe hundred yards. Then I'm going for some seals. Hey, welcome back to the Yorkshire Dales. <laughs> Second part of the hunt. I'm getting flax seal withdrawal symptoms, so I'm going down there and going to do my best to find some. I see he's cut the grass there, I'll have a look at that. Oh, come to daddy. <laughs> Just coming down this little hill, it's very good to me is this hill. What do we got? Hey, oh, 1826. I got a seal. <laughs> See how happy I am. <laughs> uh, yes, I should be able to sort you out. Good one. Tick, tick it was again. I mean, this hillside is, is sort of totally quiet. And then now and then I get a little tick. And that's it. Out they come. Another, I think it's 1826. What we got? 1820, I think it's six. That's where that one was. You, you just follow the line. If you get one, follow the line where they've thrown them out the car. That coin turned into a button. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Not a few that big round here. Okay, got one in the field. It could be 1829, that. I think that's a two, and that's Cyrillic, so it's got to be 29. Yay! Volkov. Alright, another one. No date on this. I'm quite a way away from the usual patch. Hopefully I might be in another patch. Hey, <laughs> fingers crossed. Can you see that river behind that edge? Here's me sweating like the proverbial. Little uh, numbered tag there from the linen. Oh, I could do with just going and plonking in that river. 1833. Right. Good one. I'm quite a way away from the patch. And another one, just a little bit further along the ridge. Uh, yeah, this grass is too long. It is too long by half, <laughs> if not double. So it's it's hard work. Ho ho ho! See me bag there. I was just talking about one the other side, so I thought I'd come in a line with it, and I've got on to here, and lo and behold, what have I got? A Pavlov star. <laughs> and it's about twice the size of normal. Look at that, there is no disputing that. St. Petersburg with the caduus, the, uh, the snakes. Oh, uh, with wings at the top. My goodness. That's a nice one. That's made my day. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, I'm the only person ever finding these things. 
have love stars. They are great. Uh, about mm, 18, late 1820s, early 30s, I reckon. <sighs> Look at that sun. I'm working in the shade again. <laughs> uh, unbelievable, this. 1829. Uh, the fellow's name is A. Uh, um, Malive, Malev, Malif, Malif, that's it. Uh, post 57. It was about 8 inches plus and it gave a 97.98 in GM power. Uh, which normally means iron, but it's thick and it's round. And it's saying, you're not the coin, but you're something. Right, I'm going to say bye-bye to the seal field. I've had a long day today. That sun was very taxing. Uh, I got eight, eight uh, flax bale seals, so I'm quite happy. Uh, see how big this um, Pablo star is compared to the others. It, it's a lot, lot bigger. Yes, I'm going to see you at the roundup. Hello. Welcome to the roundup, or should I say roundups? There's two. This is the first one. I went over the border into Lancashire looking for another flax mill. Or the I know where the flax mill is. It's where the seals are in the fields around. So, got permission to do a huge area around the mill, and uh, there wasn't a flax seal in sight. So this this was just a normal hunt through. Farmer's fields, bits of lead, like so. Um, that's the end of a, of a stick, like a cane, only it's not round. Um, pulley wheel work. Oh, it's got little thingies in, I never saw them before. Uh, yeah. This is for putting furniture together and it's modern. <laughs> Not quite sure what you are. You've got a thing in the top for fastening you in place. Somebody will know. And hmm, I don't know. Hey, look, a zip. <laughs> three or three cartridge. World War. World War One. World War Two. Not right sure. Um. What have we got there? Pewter Spoon Primal. Very nice pouch there. Um, they made uh, white oil animal vaccines. So that's either off the representative, it's fell out, or, or they give it to the farmer as advertising. They used to do that. And you know, the farmer would put it in his lapel and advertise Primal. <laughs> Buttons. Got plenty of coins. There's a penny. Uh, 1971. Uh, 1945 ship half penny. That's decimal currency. It's iron. Well, actually, it is. It is um, bronze. It was still bronze. Horrible though. 1863. Poor thing falling apart there. Just wet this a little bit with my finger. Uh, bring it up a bit better. 1860. There we go. Georgian, we're getting back a bit. 1806, large penny. You know, it's the little dints in it. I don't think it's shotgun. I, I think somebody's just had a go at it with a punch. Uh, <laughs> they mutilate coinage up my neck of the woods. 1806 half penny, George three, copper one. I think that's one as well. These two though, this is this is definitely um, 1700s. 1775 ish. There's the three. There's no doubt about it. it's George third. Oh yes, there is. That's not a three at all. It's the Britannia. 
<laughs> it's the Nia of Britannia. I'm looking at it backwards. <laughs> so that will be the Britannia. Heads over this way. Oh, he's in there. Look. Oh, he's, he is. He's in there. And the three one should be at the top. So we're looking 1775-ish. Or as somebody says, uh, B.A. before America. Oops. <laughs> you know I'm only joking. And there's another one here, but there's nothing on it. It could very well be the same. These are 1700s. So that's the first hunt. And I took a long time looking to see if there was any seals in those fields. I walked two or three miles. But as you can see, no. So I went back to the seal fields. And you'll see the difference. Um, in the junkite, uh, bits of lead, bits of machinery, rings. Now the bits of lead, the 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 tags, they've got numbers on. Look, so they're like the tags uh, aren't really junkite. They're um, they were put on the cloth for identification. Bit of lead there. I'm sure that's a a bale seal. <laughs> Scrambled up, and a button, but. The buttons out of that field are huge, <laughs> they're massive things. <laughs> I'll give you a normal one alongside it, look. <laughs> That's a normal button, these, these are massive. And what I went looking for, bale seals, yay! <laughs> nice one. I've got eight more. That gives 655 from that site now. And my goodness are they coming together in the database. Um, really telling the story. 1833 from 26 to 33 and the one I'm really pleased with is the Pavlov Star. Um, I think these were unknown until I found one a, a few months back but now I've got seven or eight of them and they've got this caduous on the back Oh, it's worn off there in, in transit. Hmm. St. Petersburg. I've got a better picture of that when I just found it. Yay. And he says uh, Pavlov. He actually says Pow Wow. Uh, it, there's an English translation, but the W's, but the V's. Pavlov. So, I, I was quite pleased, um, just to get eight seals. Um, nice. I fret if I don't get a seal. <laughs> to like the confident way, I'm, I'm at one side and I said, oh, I've had it here, I'm going to go pick up some, some seals. <laughs> one day I'm going to run out. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Um... Ordinary fields, you, you get sort of junkites, loads of pennies, coins, odds and ends and bits. In the seal fields, um, more, they're, they're more likely out of the mill, are the, the odds and ends. Your lead tends to be usable, look, like in the seals and things. But for some reason, buttons are bigger. I don't know why. Okay, thanks for coming with me. Till I see you next time, you take care, and I'll leave you with a primal. Yay!